My name is Jada Harris, and my partner is Taylor Chambers. We are juniors at Baltimore City College, and our project is the Play Your Way Initiative. When I was younger, I was never able to go to the playground. The playgrounds around my house were old and decrepit, graffiti on the slides, and trash littered across the ground. They looked like no one cared for them. The closest playground was 15 miles away from me, and it was located in the white neighborhood. I noticed that in those neighborhoods, there was a playground on every block. Unlike the kids in these areas, I did not have a place to be a kid and release any stress that I had. My mother was devastated and in distress that there weren't any valuable playgrounds near where we lived. With the Play Your Way initiative, we strive to provide playgrounds to the inner city youth within Baltimore City, starting in the Sandtown Winchester area. We want to make sure that all children have access to a playground so we can ease the stress placed on parents, reduce the crime rate in the city, and ensure that inner city youth can play their way. To measure the severity of our problem, we conducted a survey for the community to answer. We found that within a survey of 29 participants, 86.2% of people answered that the closest playground was within five to 10 miles away from them. What is our plan? In terms of our choice for location for our playground, we have chosen 2202 Edding Street, which is in Sandtown, Winchester. But as you can see, this location already has playground equipment. So what are we going to do about that? Ultimately, we want to build upon it. In order to do this, we will talk to and partner with the church that owns the playground. And we will consult with Ms. Alice Copeland, who is the Youth Coordinator for Parks and People, an organization that specializes in the implementation of different parks and playgrounds across Baltimore City. How do we plan to fund this project, you may ask? Well, it all boils down to you. We are asking for $6,927 in order to fund our project for our first playground and purchase some of the things that are listed in our budget, such as swings, because this was the most popular playground equipment choice based off of our survey, and hand sanitizer stands, because we want to make sure that we are following COVID guidelines. In terms of the future, well, of course, we would like to explain, expand on the number of playgrounds that we have, but for now, what will we do if we are awarded? Well, that's easy. We're getting to work immediately, whether in person, safely, of course, or through Zoom calls. We will oversee the planning and building of our playground. And in terms of maintenance and sustainability, this will be done by us with the help of our family members and friends. In order to do this, we will primarily incorporate fundraising, especially from our grand opening event once the playground is finished. In conclusion, we want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for listening. And thank you for giving us a chance and always remember to play your way.